Today, I wanna to talk about kind of the great debate when it comes to fishing a crankbait, and that is the rod that you go with. There's a lot of different opinions out there, and in this video, I'm simply going to give you my opinion. I will let you know the exact rod that I choose to crank with. So before we get into that, guys, I do wanna let you know this video is brought to you by my apparel company, Fin Fishing. The best way to help support this channel is simply clicking those links down below and picking up some Fin Fishing gear. I got some USA made sun shirts, one of the only on the market, hats, gloves, a lot more is coming. Thanks for the support, and uh, let's get on to the video. So crankbaits. Crankbaits are, to me, one of my favorite baits. It's, it's one of the lures that I really first learned to fish because I loved covering a lot of water. I also loved Kevin Van Dam growing up, and he, as we know, is a crankbait enthusiast. He's won tons of tournaments with it. And I have used, with, when, when it comes to cranking, I have used pretty much every type of crankbait rod. I've used full glass rods that uh, actually the David Fritz came up. I can't even remember the name of the rod now or the brand, um, but he had a full glass rod. The thing bent like down here in the handle as much as it bent in the top. I mean, it was a very slow action rod. Um, I've also used uh, graphite rods and I've used, a, I've used three or four different brands of crankbait graphite rods before in the past. Um, and the thing, the thing about a graphite rod is you're definitely going to have more sensitivity. You can definitely feel your bait better under the water. You can feel what it's hitting better. Um, but here, here's the reason that I've actually chose to go with kind of the, the mix, the composite rod. This particular rod is an Arc Tharp series grinder rod. It is my favorite crankbait rod that I've ever chosen because it's actually a very light rod. It has some of those characteristics of the glass as well as some of that sensitivity of graphite. Now, the reason that I like this rod over all the other rods is simply, this is the dumbest reason, um, but I have used a number of different composite rods on the market and it's the same thing. It's even the same thing with glass rods. When you go, there's been several occasions where I'm using a crankbait and I make a bad cast and I cast it up into a tree. Okay, let's, let's be honest here. That has happened to me often and I'm sure it's probably happened to you as well. If you have done this with the crankbait, if you try to snatch that, if you try to snatch that lure out of the tree with a composite rod or even a glass rod, it is actually difficult very difficult to get that bait out of the tree because of the way that your rod bends. It really absorbs a ton of the give in that tree. I mean, I've done it before where I'm really kind of whipping that thing and the rod is just bending in a way that really, it doesn't put a lot of pressure on that bait to have it kind of come out of that tree. Now I've done the exact same thing with a number of different graphite rods. And even the graphite rods that are made to bend in a more parabolic fashion, like those glass rods, when you do it, they always pop right out. Like, and I'm talking about when you just get caught in like the leaves, you know, not like if you're in the main trunk of a tree, like it's not gonna come out no matter what. But when you get caught in like the leaves and you whip that thing out, that thing will come right out on a graphite rod. And, and this is the dumbest reason, but I have seen that you just tend to lose less fish with a composite or glass rod than you do with that graphite rod. That is just my opinion and it's really based upon like a lot of time cranking and that stupid thing where I've gotten caught up in trees before. Now the bad thing about glass rods and the reason that I don't use them is one they're really heavy and two you have like very little feel very little feel with those rods of the bottom. And so that's why I like the composite rods is to me, it really is the best of both worlds. Now, another component that will help you is by using fluorocarbon line. Fluorocarbon has a little bit less stretch than monofilament. And I like to use fluorocarbon with a composite rod because I feel like it gives me pretty equally the same amount of sensitivity as a graphite rod but I feel like I lose way less fish with this particular rod. Now, if you like 
graphite, which I totally understand. I want to, uh, if you're, if you're having issues losing fish, try using monofilament because the monofilament's going to give you a little bit more give. It kind of is the same as using this rod. It's almost like the graphite has more sensitivity. The monofilament takes a little bit of that sensitivity out, gives you a little bit more stretch. So anyways, that is just my opinion on the rods. I totally get if you are different for different reasons. That's just the, the reason that I've chosen this grinder series rod. It's my favorite. And if you guys wanna watch the video I did yesterday, I'm gonna leave it right here and uh, I will see you tomorrow.